D'Lo Brown will be in South Florida for Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum All Bets Are Off show on Saturday, May 18th at Stage 954. And D'Lo, when you see his place, it's really a cool venue. And it's at the Casino at Dania Beach. Well, D'Lo, we're talking about the Nation of Domination. Do you keep in touch with the guys there? I know Rock is very busy. Everyone's doing different things. But do you keep in touch with them? I keep in touch with every member of the Nation. We all touch base. I talk to Rock Simmons on a weekly basis. Mark Henry and I, we just did a, I just inducted Mark Henry or gave a presenter Mark Henry with an award out here in Las Vegas. I see Godfather all the time, and, and Rocky and I will touch base from time to time. So... Uh, the nation gave me great times in my life, but it gave me friends for the rest of my life. Friends that um, I have a deeper bond with than, than most people on this planet. So um, time or space is not going to separate us. Any conversation come up? Were you ever interested in doing some acting and trying to get a part in a rock movie? <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought, here's the thing. You don't have to say anything. When Ballers came out, I said, oh, this will be good. This could be good for D-Lo. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But hey, that's a whole other story. <laughs> All right, I don't want to get you in any trouble. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you mentioned working with The Godfather. He opened up his own place of business out there. What have you thought of his success? Because he had a club he opened. It's been open for a while. It's done very well. And what was it? What was it like working at the club? You know, it's, it's different when you're your friend and then your friend becomes your boss. It, it's it's weird because you know you want to you, you see him say stuff. You go, uh, you want to talk back to him as a friend, but you can't. So I I, I had to learn how to, to temper both those. But it was enjoyable. I mean, he he showed me the ropes and and showed me an industry that I didn't know much about. And he gave me an education that I couldn't have gotten anywhere else. And it allowed me to, when I eventually left there, to go spin into my own, you know, security company. So it, it, it helped me out. You got to talk about traveling with Ron Simmons. <laughs> here's the, you know, okay, here's the thing. I, I got to bring this up. All right. So when in WWF or WWE, Ron starred in football at Florida State University, an FSU Hall of Famer, a legend. So what was it like when you all were traveling and you had to go to Tallahassee or go through Tallahassee and stop for a WWE show with Ron Simmons? I, I will tell you this. We actually did a couple shows in Tallahassee. And... When Ron arrived on campus, it was like Moses parting the Red Sea. I, I have never seen anything like that. Like, Ron could not do anything wrong on that campus. He, could, he floated on air around there because everyone held him up high. And that's the only show he wasn't introduced as Farouk. He was introduced as Ron Simmons while in the nation. Because that's how much it meant to be Ron Simmons in Tallahassee in Florida State. Like, I, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, when you've got, you know, you had coaches coming down, you had professors coming to see him. Ron, I, I use the term God loosely, Ron is a God in Tallahassee. That must have made for some free meals, too, for you and Ron. We did not pay for a thing. <laughs> in, and around, for, in and around Florida State, in and around Tallahassee, hell, 50 miles in any direction of Tallahassee because there's always an alumni somewhere. Um, that's how much Ron meant to that area. On the flip side, did you have to pay double in Gainesville? Yeah, in, in, in Gainesville, uh, down in Miami, if Ron was there, they didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember a program they had with Rock and with Ron, and they actually billed it as a Florida State versus University of Miami angle and it was yeah. for the house shows and it was it was really cool it was really something to be able to see that but again that's the thing i mean you're talking about d'lo brown you're an athlete ron simmons athlete dwayne johnson athlete just just a lot of athletes that are in pro wrestling from football from other sports and it seems like that is continued today now you see mma fighters getting into wrestling so 
What do you think of the yeah. the evolution of that part of it, of MMA and pro wrestling, and what's going on there between the two? Um, there's becoming a commingling of the two. You see that, you know, guys like Brock Lesnar and, and a young lady, Ronda Rousey, um, and, and now there's several in NXT that were former uh, MMA fighters. There's a, a commingling there. And I think it's good because there's only so many athletes that can do so many sports, and when you get one or two that can cross over, it helps out both sports. You know, look what Brock has done for for wrestling and for MMA. Um, you don't get that too often. So uh, I think the more that can, and not to say that, you know, it, I don't want us to, to commingle our brands and become the same thing. I just like that, that crossover aspect where you can put more eyes on whichever company you're in. If you can pull eyes from one to the other, that just helps everybody out. I think it was in Japan that they actually had for a while, I don't know if they still do, but they would actually have pro wrestling matches and combat sport fights that were not predetermined were, on the same show. There were several companies. There was like, um, like New Japan did it for a while where they would have a, a quote unquote shoot fight in the middle of their wrestling show. Or there were companies like Pancreas, or um, you know, there were a few companies over there that were. A, a, a co-mingling of both worlds. Um, so it, it, it's, it's been tried before, but um, not to the not to the, the success of, like, say, Brock Lesnar. Do you think a show like that could work here? I don't know because that's a good question. I'm not going to say yes or no. I would just I would like to see it tried. You never know until you try. I would like to see it tried. Dilo, what do you think of All In and what's happening there with Cody and AW and the Khan family? Uh, look, anytime, when it goes back to what I said about the MMA, anytime you put more eyes on the world of pro wrestling, that's good for everybody. Anytime you can create a brand new product and, and then selling out, you know, now two venues in a combined five minutes of, you know, I don't know, what is this? 40 or 30,000 people in, in, in five, you know, that's good for wrestling. And if they can create a viable product where it's going to put on a, you know, a weekly basis, put more eyes on TV and put more eyes on wrestling, that can only help every person that puts on a pair of boots. Um, it can only help. So I, I think it's, I think it's exceptional what they're doing. Um, I'm happy for them. I, I'm proud of them and I want them to continue their success. Impact Wrestling has been able to survive, what, 16, 17 years now? Yes. What do you think of that company being able to survive? And if you look at it, too, there's not, like, huge money behind that company, but they were able to do something and still are able to do something. And then when you get something like a, a juggernaut like WWE or now AEW and the money support behind it, how important is the money? Impact Wrestling didn't have a lot, but it's still able to do its thing. So what are your thoughts on the money situation with the company? See, uh, money is very important, but what is more important is what you do with the money you do have. And Impact seems to be, you know, they capitalize on what they do have and use the right way. And they're not overspending or, or running their budget crazy. Um, we all saw the, the failed WCW model where it was let's outspend until we die and they ran out of cash. So I like the model that, that Impact is using where it's, you know, let's be smart with every dollar, let's make every dollar count and let's turn every dollar into 10. And that's what they seem like they're doing and, and you can see the direction they're going because they've got a great roster there. The, the, the amount of talent that's in Impact currently is, is right there with, with every other company out there. So 